Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series and in this video I'm going to talk about the Usenet engine and today we're going to be making a 3D tornado animation in Python using the Usenet engine. Okay, let's get started. So let's open up our blank Python file and write from Usenet import port star <clears throat> and we're going to be importing our modules and we also want to import numpy. So import numpy as np. And now we can set up our uh, basic Yersena game with app is equal to Yersena and app.run. So now let's create a 3D static tornado. We want to create a num value. So num is going to be equal to 300. And this is going to be the number of entities that we're going to be using for this animation. Let's have a k value of 2, and this is going to be a number that controls the radius of the tornado. And the larger it is, the smaller the radius of the tornado is going to be. Now we're going to have a y value is equal to np.lin space uh, 0, 1.5 times np.pi. And then our third parameter is going to be num. And here the x, y, z. Uh, parameters are the initial positions of the 300 entities. We can create a x value is equal to the y divided by k times np dot sine 20 multiplied by y, and we can create a z is equal to y over k times np dot np dot cosine 20 times y. And now let's create a, a list of e, or the e is going to be the variable name. It's equal to a list of none multiplied by our number of uh, entities. And so this is going to hold all of our entities. Now we will use a loop to create all the entities. So for i in range num, e of index i is equal to an entity the model is equal to a sphere with a color parameter. So color is equal to color dot. And we're going to generate a random color. So color dot random color. Set the scale equal to 0.1. Set the position. For the x position, is going to be x index 1. Uh, then y index i, or index i, not index 1. And then z index i. And we're also going to set the camera position. So camera dot position is equal to uh, zero on the x, two point five on the y, and negative twenty on the z. And if we uh, save and run this, oh, let's see. Np. Oh, this should be import numpy as np. And here we see that we have our tornado, but it's not uh, spinning yet. It's not moving or uh, twisting yet. But we do have our tornado right here. And now let's add in our update function. So this will actually move and animate our tornado. So define update. And we want to create the global E uh, variable so that we can actually access and edit this uh, each entity in this list. And so for entity in e, entity dot y plus equal to point zero zero three, and this just controls the spinning wheel. And the larger um, the value is, the faster it spins. And now entity dot x is equal to entity dot y divided by k multiplied by np dot sine twenty times entity dot y. And now entity dot z is equal to entity dot y divided by k multiplied by np dot cosine 20 times entity dot y. And so if I save and run this, here we see that we have updated the y, x, and z position of each entity. And now they're all swirling around creating this nice animation. So now that the tornado is animated, 
we have created an animated tornado. But now that the tornado as a whole is moving upward, given enough time, you'll see that it moves out of the window, which it's doing right now. So how do we really keep the tornado inside of the window? Well, we can add some boundary checking. And in order to add boundary checking, we can add that in our uh, update function and check if entity.y is greater than 1.5 times np.py, then entity.y is equal to zero. So now if I save and run this, uh, the tornado should stay out of the window. And whenever an entity reaches this top boundary, its y position is going to be reset to zero. So you see that it is resetting all the way to the bottom and the tornado is staying still. So let's try to change the radius of the tornado. And remember that this, oops, let's see. And remember that this k value changes the radius. So if I change this k value to like three or four, then here the radius has become much smaller if I change this to 1, the radius is now much larger. So I'm going to change it back to 2. And we'll see. And now it's uh, just like before. So we have a nice side view of the tornado. But let's have an option to have a top view as well. And in order to do that, we can create an input function. Define input to get input from our computer or keyboard of our parameter key. And if the key is equal to 1, and if the user just presses 1 on their keyboard, then we want to set camera.position equal to 0, 2.5, negative 20. And camera.rotation underscore x is equal to 0. Uh, otherwise, if the key is equal to 2, for example, then we want to set camera.position equal to 0. On the x, 20 on the y, 0 on the z, and set camera.rotation, uh, the x rotation equal to 90. And this will be the top view. So if I run this, and I press 2, now I have a top view of this tornado. I press 1, I have a side view. And I can keep switching between these two. And now let's add a title to the window. Finally, yeah. So this is going to be the last part. So right above where I run this app, I'm going to add text. The text is equal to uh, 3D tornado animation. So the position equal to 0 for set the origin equal to 0, 0. And set the background equal to true. And so if I finally save and run this, let's see what happened. There should be a comma right here. Then I have a title in the center, except it should be 0 0.4. Or 0, yeah, 0 0.4. And this should be position. And now I have this title above and our animation in the center, and I could keep switching in between. Alright, so this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.